Seems like Samsung is trying its hand in budget smartphones. And here it comes with a good reasonable smartphone at a mid-budget price. Let's know everything about this super phone. Hi guys, this is your super user and today we have got with us Samsung Galaxy M21. This is the June manufacture unit and as per the box, the MRP in India is 15,999 and it's sold via Flipkart. The purchase links are given below in the description. Though I have already opened the box, I'll show you what all do you get in the box. Here you have box with usual paperwork. Remember, they are not providing any TPU case and a SIM ejector tool attached to this box. Then we have Samsung Galaxy M21 handset itself, which we will see in a while. But below that, in the box, we have an adaptive fast charger. It's a 15 watt fast charger. And lastly, a USB Type-A to Type-C 0.8 meters charging cable. Well, now coming back to the handset, it comes in two colors, black and blue. We have got a blue variant here. Let me just remove the plastic sheet and stickers. It looks really good in hand. Doesn't look like a cheap phone. M21 comes with a massive 6000 mAh battery and still it weighs just 188 grams. Backside case is uh, completely of plastic. Let's check a quick physical overview. On the top we have a secondary noise cancellation mic. On the right we have volume buttons and a power button. At the bottom we have 3.5mm headphone jack, single speaker, primary microphone and a USB Type-C jack. On the left, we have a tray with dual SIMs and a dedicated memory card holder. Let's put it back. As this is a budget phone, we don't have a screen fingerprint scanner, but a rear mounted fingerprint scanner and a 48 megapixel triple camera setup. The top one is 5 megapixel depth shooter, 48 megapixel main camera and 8 megapixel for ultra wide shots can cover up to 123 degrees. Coming in front, we have an Infinity U display with Samsung Super AMOLED capacitive touchscreen with Gorilla Glass 3 protection. Though not the latest one, but at least you have a Gorilla protection. That's a good thing. It is also Widevine L1 certified, so you can watch series on HD configuration on various OTT platforms. And top on the notch, we have a front 20 megapixel selfie camera. M21 comes with Exonus 9611 processor which Samsung has used in many models like A51, M31, M30S etc which is slightly better than Snapdragon 675. Let's go to the settings and check on how much net storage do we get after installing all the basic apps required. As you can see we have got around 44 GB of storage available out of 64 GB which is enough for a general use and the RAM memory we are getting is 1.2 GB only out of 4 GB. Now in the software information you get Android 10 version and Samsung 1 UI version 2. Well I have already set the fingerprint scanner so let's test it. As you can see it is very fast. Not the fastest I can say but it is fast enough. Same goes with the face recognition. It's fast compared to old Samsung models but not the fastest considering other models in the market. We get few bloatwares. But that's not an issue as you can remove it anytime. Further, we also got adapt to brightness. You can also set your power keys to work. Press your power key twice and open your favorite app instantly. For an instance, in side key settings, if I set calculator as the app and I press the power key twice, as you can see, favorite app opens. Now let's check sound level of a single speaker installed by playing my own old video on YouTube. Hi guys, this is your super user. Major file formats are supported. Ending is on remote as well. It comes with two AAA size batteries which are included with the remote. As you have heard, sound is also loud enough. Coming to the gaming, games like PUBG, games that require high graphics play well but in low graphics settings. If you are a heavy gamer, then this phone is not for you. You can go for a better one. Going further, 
if you want to gain control on your gaming timings m21 also has digital well-being to control on your timings with certain apps and if you plan to give to children you can remotely supervise the phone keep an eye on the screen time set limits etc etc now let's check the camera quality the colors are natural and real I'll take some sample shots and you can check them in the end of this video and decide the camera quality. It has got all the features of typical Samsung phone. Live focus, then we have more options in which we have pro mode, slow mo, super slow mo, hyperlapse, night mode, etc. Only thing missing is the macro shot which you can find in M31 which has quad camera setup. Two more things I would like to show you that is we have a screen mode in setting by default it is in vivid you can switch it to natural as you like it I would like to view the screen in natural mode second thing we have a dark mode here this might help reduce eye strain and also it can help you save a lot of battery talking about the battery M21 has a massive 6000 mAh battery and here you can see as I have already used up half of the battery but still it says one day and two hours left for the battery for normal usage. Battery is certainly a point this device is a hit. So the summary is you can go for a Galaxy M21 if you are not a heavy gamer but a normal user who needs a budget but branded smartphone with a good camera, good processor and a huge battery. I hope I have helped you decide whether or not you should buy this gadget. If yes. Do give it a thumbs up to this video and share with your friends and family. Purchase links are given in the description below. Do check out and don't forget to subscribe to your super user for more such videos. Bye bye for now and see you in the next one.